Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far in this unit number five, I have completed two topics that is game theory and queuing theory. Now the last part of this unit is simulation. So in this video, I am going to explain you about the meaning of the term simulation. What are the application areas where simulation can be applied? What are the advantages and disadvantages of simulation? And lastly, Monte Carlo simulation. These are the concepts I am going to explain you in this video. In examination, most frequently a theory question will be asked regarding the meaning of simulation advantages, disadvantages, etc. So watch this video to attempt to the theory question. In the, from the next video onwards, we'll start the problems on simulation. So before starting the explanation of this topic simulation, take the screenshot of the points written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, first of all, simulation. Simulation is one of the techniques of operation research in solving a complex problem. So simulation is a method of solving a decision-making problem by designing, constructing and manipulating a model of the real situation. In many cases, what will happen? We cannot make any experiment on the real situation. We have to prepare a model. On that model, we will uh, make a lot of manipulations to find out an appropriate solution to the problem. So here, simulation is a method. This is a technique of operation research, which involved in decision making by designing, constructing, manipulating a model. Now, it's a useful technique for solving a business problem where many values of the variables are not known or partly known and there is no easy way to find these values. Now, see here. If we have every information, then easily we can take the decision. The decision will become complex, complicated when some of the variables are not known. We cannot be able to find out the complete information, all the variables. In a situation where we don't have some information, we apply manipulation. Now, simulation is probably the most important technique used in analyzing a number of complex uh, systems where analytical methods are either difficult or not known. So normally this simulation will be applied to whenever there is no analytical method or mathematical method, quantitative method of solving a problem. The mathematical method will be applied whenever we have the complete information. But when there is lack of information, insufficient information, then we have to apply simulation. So basically it's a technique of manipulating a model through a process of imitation. See here. We cannot make any experiment on the real situation because it will involve time, it will involve effort, resources. So in order to avoid all these things, we will make the experiments by imitation on a model. Just example I'll give you. An engineer, before starting the construction of the project, he will make a lot of manipulation on the model. He will construct, he will make a model and make all manipulations and all these experiments he will do on the model. Once if he is satisfied with the model, then he will implement that model in the real practice. So this simulation is also just like the imitation process on a model of the real situation. It normally involves a large computations lot of calculations are required in simulation. So whenever mathematical methods for getting an analytical solution does not exist. So if we have complete information, we can apply the mathematical or analytical method to solve a problem. But many situations are there when we don't have the complete information there we have to go for simulation. So simulation method enables us to obtain numerical solution to the problem. So this is the meaning of the term simulation. Simulation provides a trial and error movement towards the optimal solution. 
because we are making experiment we are making some manipulation so it's a trial and error in order to find out an optimal solution and remember one thing the simulation process will not give you the ultimate exact solution it will give an approximate solution and this solution will be very very near to the optimal solution the simulation thus avoids cost of real world experimentation just now i told you it is very difficult to make experiment on the real situation because it involves time it involves cost resources all these will go waste if we make experiment on the real situation huh? if we make the manipulation on a model then we can it will become cost effective less cost will be involved in manipulating the model uh, unlike the manipulation in the real system so simulation can serve as a pre-service test that means actually implementing the decision on the real situation we are making a pre-test service so before implementing the decision we are manipulating the problem that is called simulation to try out new policies decision rules for operating system before running the risk of experimenting on the real system so before making any experiment on the real system we will manipulate we will make all experiments in on the model that is called simulation so this explanation is enough for writing the meaning of the term simulation now what are the application of simulation where this simulation will be applied in a number of situations in business world in industries in military organizations in military strategies in government organization so many areas are there where we have to apply simulation technique because the problem is a complex problem all the variables are not known we have to make the manipulation experiments on a model if we are satisfied then we'll implement that in the real situation so many application areas are there here some of the areas are example it can be used for learning about the operating characteristic of a new airplane suppose if a new airplane is made so we have to make the experiment about the characteristics of the new airplane so we will make a model so by simulating flight conditions in the tunnel wind tunnel so we will make a wind tunnel in that wind tunnel we'll make a model of the airplane and we will see how the airplane will operate in a wind tunnel suppose if we are successful then we can implement this airplane in the real situation so this is the one of the application area on electronic or hydraulic analog models of such real life systems like inventory control production scheduling network analysis so and so so in a business organization there are a number of problems of inventory control production scheduling network analysis all these things will require electronic and hydraulic studies <coughs> now it can also be used for planning military strategies in military also we will not have the complete information we have limited information so we manipulate the limited information to find out an optimum solution traffic control medical diagnosis hospital emergency facilities etc these are few application areas where we can apply simulation technique next one is advantages there are many many advantages of simulation to to be applied for solving a decision making problem the first advantage a relatively straightforward and flexible it is not rigid the technique is not rigid one it's flexible we can easily change because we are manipulating the model so any number of times we can change the model so it is more flexible method of finding the solution secondly it can be used to analyze large and complex real world situation that cannot be solved by conventional quantitative technique already i told you in the meaning of simulation <coughs> there are many cases where we don't have the quantitative method or mathematical method to solve the problem so in those situations where there is no mathematical or quantitative technique to solve the problem there we can conveniently apply simulation model third one a good simulation model may be sorry 
here it does not interfere with the real world system because its simulation experiments are done with the model not on the system itself just now i have given one example in a new airplane the model has been made now we have to find out whether it is operative or not so we will make the experiment in the wind tunnel regarding the operating conditions so without effect the real situation we can be able to manipulate experiment with the model that is the advantage fourth one is once a model has been constructed may be used over and over to analyze all kinds of different situations so once a model is prepared we should not think that this model is applicable only for this situation so different situations we can use the same model again and again next one is it is very valuable it's a valuable and convenient method of breaking down a complicated system into subsystems a complex a huge system is there we cannot be able to solve the complete unit complete system so we break down into subsystems and we can study what is the relationship of individual subsystem and jointly with other subsystems so in simple words we can say the complete system can be broken down into subsystems and we can study what is the effect of these subsystems individually and jointly on the whole system so these are some of the advantages of simulation but apart from advantages there are some disadvantages of simulation the first disadvantage is simulation is not precise it is not an optimization process and does not yield an answer but merely provide a set of systems responses to different operating conditions first disadvantage of simulation the simulation will not give the precise solution to a problem perfect solution to a problem we cannot be able to get it simply provide the different solutions under different conditions so the solution which we get from simulation is not an exact solution it's an approximate solution under certain conditions how would be our solution simple words it will not give the perfect precise decision a good simulation model may be very expensive often it may take years to develop a model example in case of military in case of missile making all these things require a lot of time lot of resources lot of money is required so it is not an easy job to apply the simulation it's very expensive thirdly not all situations can be evaluated using simulation only situation involving uncertainty and complex every problem cannot be solved by using simulation only few areas are there where we can apply simulation complex model uncertain situation there we apply simulation next last one simulation generate a way of evaluating solution but does not generate the solution technique one of the last disadvantage of this simulation is it will not give the exact answer to the problem it will only give the different i mean uh, techniques available different situations available not exact one solution but different solutions under different conditions will be provided by simulation so these are some of the disadvantages now last topic in this video is monte carlo simulation the most important widely used technique in simulation is monte carlo technique so simulation is a valuable tool in obtaining answers to a particular problem that is the meaning of the term simulation the mont carlo method is a simulation technique in which statistical distribution functions are created by using a series of random numbers this is very important mont carlo has used statistical distribution techniques in finding the solution by simulation by using random numbers so mont carlo has used random numbers and by using probability distribution techniques he will find out the solution by applying simulation so this approach has the ability to develop many months or years of data in a matter of few minutes on a digital computer by using digital computer in a matter of few minutes we can be able to analyze we can be able to manipulate huge mass of data comprising months data or years data in few minutes we can be able to manipulate 
by using the digital computer. Then the method is generally used to solve problems which cannot be adequately represented by mathematical models. So many problems are there which cannot be mathematically solved. So in those situations we apply simulation. So Monte Carlo simulation yields a solution which should be very close to the optimal but not necessarily the exact solution. So the solution which we get by Monte Carlo will not be the exact solution but it will be the optimum, very near to the optimum solution. So what are the steps involved in Monte Carlo simulation? The first step clearly define the problem. There is no good solution for a bad problem. If you want a good solution, you must have a good problem. The problem, uh, first of all, should be clear, should be clearly understood. Then only we can try for the solution. The so first clear problem. Second, construct an appropriate model. By collecting the data, what is the problem? What are the resources we are having? What are the constraints we are having? We will construct a model. Then prepare the model for experimentation. By making the model, now the model is ready for experimentation. Then using step 1, 2, 3, experiment with the model. Already first step, second step, third step we have completed. Now by using these three steps, we start experimenting, manipulating. Then fourth, uh, fifth step, summarize and examine the results obtained in step 4. Step 4, whatever data we get, that we have to summarize, that we have to analyze. And last, sixth step, evaluate the results of the simulation. Finally, after evaluation, after analysis, we have to find out what is the result, what is the optimum solution of this problem by simulation. So these step, six steps have been suggested by Monte Carlo in order to solve a problem by simulation. That's it. So in this video, I've explained you about the meaning of the term simulation, application, areas of simulation, advantages, disadvantages, and lastly, Monte Carlo simulation. Inshallah, in the next video, I'll start the problems on simulation. So if you're satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel among your groups, among your friends, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah we will start the problems on simulation in the next video.